Good morning, everybody. It's your good friend Furluge, also known as Don in Meat Space, and we are back once again for another wonderful episode of Good Morning Awesome Knots here on Twitch TV and Furluge.com. I'm, of course, your host, Furluge, or Don in Meat Space, and we are looking forward to having another wonderful day of lots of Awesome Knots action here on the show. Uh, let me just lower this a teeny bit here. So you may notice from the top of the show, um, this is going to be a slightly different episode of uh, Good Morning Awesome Nuts today. Uh, we're going to be redoing a quick review of the 2.2 patch notes. Um, boy, there were a lot more changes to those patch notes than I uh, remembered just uh, taking a quick look. I thought it was really minor other than Ted and Voltar, but whew, many a changes when I looked through it. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just take a quick look here and get that up. And afterwards, we'll go ahead and get into our usual game. So, uh, without further ado, well, actually, before I get into that, uh, let me remind you, of course, that I have my Twitch chat up to the right. So, if you are uh, watching right now, please come on into the Twitch chat, say hello, interact. Uh, if you have any questions about the notes, that is a uh, perfect avenue to uh, take care of that. Um, I love to hear from everybody who's watching the show. It's one of my favorite parts of the show, doing this. Uh, it's just great. Um, other than that, um, we've got a Steam community link right there. If, when we do get to games, you can join in on any of the games by following that. Just load it up in Steam and hit the green Join Game button. Let me go ahead and get this up here. Uh, so let's go ahead, first of all, let's talk about the patch 2.2 update. 2.3 um, is coming, and I got that vault to remind us all about that. Morning, Esai. How's it going? Uh, but uh, a couple different things going on here. Let me just get the notes up here. There we go. Okay. So, uh, first off, some general things. I, there are a lot of text fixes uh, in the uh, patches today. And I am not including them on here. We are going to be focusing mainly on balance changes and maybe some bug fixes that might change the way characters play. Um, all of the fixes that said change to state, you know, things like that. Things that made things clearer, while good, we're not going to be covering today because if you've been playing for a while and you're watching this show, you probably know what they actually do and don't really need that update. Um, so first of all, let's see, joystick cursors fix, that's nice. Uh, another one that everyone is going to be very happy about is, of course, that the sliding bug has been fixed. Uh, I know we've heard a lot of strife about that one here on the show, so uh, you shouldn't see that anymore. Uh, basically, that's when you would drag other characters. Uh, as I understand it, they were getting caught in each other's hitbox. That should be gone. Uh, let's see here. Also, down, jump, and jump would sometimes not work sending players back to their platform. That should be gone. Also, this is another big one. Bots now take 20% less damage on every difficult le to be level, including uh, increasing uh, their percentage for difficulty. So apparently they've always had shields. If you notice you're not hurting the saw blades as much, this is what they're talking about here. Uh, also, let's see here. It looks like Vinny could sometimes get some of the top turrets in Agulon without taking damage. Not sure how that works, but that is gone. Also, the Solar Boss only gives 500 HP to 200, which really shouldn't affect anything. Uh, now I've got a, a couple of the short character upgrades. Uh, first of all, Raylan and Coco. It is a bad time to be a Lady Knot right now because they all have Power, per power Pills Turbo replaced with Power Pills Light, which means all of the Lady Knots, because Isla is the last one, and she also has Power Pills Light already. Um, all the Lady Knots have Power Pills Light. We are, we are operating by VG Cats, the rules of fighting games. Look it up. It's an entertaining strip. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I feel about that change. I really don't like nerfs to Raylan. I don't think she deserves any nerfs. Uh, in fact, I think she needs buffs. But um, it is not a huge change, so it's not the end of the world. I, I can kind of understand it more on Coco, but not really Raylan. That makes her the only pusher without Power Pills Turbo. Ted and Lone Star being the others, and yeah, this is more reason to be Lone Star. Speaking of Lone Star, um, basically, this last, this first one here, I'm not really sure what they mean here, but missiles now deal damage in the same range as bullets with booming bullets. I believe, basically, uh, the missiles will start exploding with booming bullets, so 
If you liked booming bullets, hey, missiles. Uh, let's see here. And of course, booming bullets also say it works with this. So uh, that first step, that first note. Not really sure what they mean. If you have a better understanding of what they're talking about here, please let us know. All right, on to the next slides. Got some more small updates here. We got Swiggin, Zuri, Skolder, Genji, and Froggy G. have condensed them all here. Uh, the Ink Shot bullets has increased their collision, and the Ancient Octane price was reduced from 240 Solar to uh, 160 Solar. And let me just pull that up here. I believe that was the. What did the Ancient Octane do? It's one of the ones I really took. That was the one that makes uh, the anchor hook do damage in an area of 3.4 area. So uh, that has gotten cheaper. I don't know if that would change my build. Probably not. Man, if I was going to take anything, I'd take cooldown next rather than what I have. Um, also, Yuri. This first one's a big one. If you have been using Yuri to get your droids past the bouncer and go straight to the bottom turret on AI Station, that is gone because space-time continuity device CC immunity now only works for Yuri. Uh, also, let's see, toaster time reduced from 4 seconds to 3 seconds. Let me go back and look at Yuri here and see exactly which one they're talking about here. Toaster time. Let's Toaster time. Toaster? Ah, here it is. That is a mine upgrade. Okay, toaster time. Uh, that basically is the longevity mine. So the longevity of mine upgrades has been de decreased from four seconds to three seconds. Uh, that is going to be a total of six seconds when max, uh, as opposed to the eight seconds it used to be. And let's see, flash forward, where was that? Flash forward, flash forward. Uh, flash forward was, uh, oh yeah, that was the speed increase. That was a 25% speed increase, one stage. That has gone up to 220 solar from its 180 solar. So small tweaks on Yuri there. Let me go ahead and pull up Skolir while we're looking at him. Some of these things I don't remember all the names of. Flaming Fist is, of course, the uh, range for fists. It used to be three range, now it's down to two. Um, if you saw me play Skull there, you say it's not a big change. Um, it's much more sane, I suppose. Um, so I don't really mind that change too much. Uh, also, the Homeless Gnome, which is a great source of damage for Skull Deer, has been reduced from five to 25 damage to 20 damage, so still very serviceable. Um, big one, of course, is that the electric hammer has gone up from 180 to 220. Um, a lot of, if you're playing school here, you have this in your build, so this affects you. Um, really puts it on par with the stun fist. It also makes the, the rubber ducky choker, which is the stun fist, um, more valuable, because that's already at 210. Um, it was a little odd that, uh, you know, the prices were so different. Uh, let's see here... Changes to Genji. What do we have for Genji here? Uh, I have never seen this, but apparently there was a glitch where two clouds would spawn is now fixed. So if you knew how that worked or were using it, it is gone. The, there was apparently also a main attack glitch where you could be able to hit three times. Never saw that before, but if you notice you're hitting less, that would probably be why. Uh, also, this is uh, one that some of you are going to appreciate. The cocoon has its increased profile speed and range. Blah, not profile speed. The projectile speed and the range on the cocoon has increased. Uh, this is, of course, uh, a second buff to the cocoon. It still has the delay, but uh, they keep increasing the projectile speed and the range because it got heavily nerfed in 2.1. We'll go back to that. Uh, also, we have some changes on Froggy. So if you were playing on Linux, um, also come to think of that Linux upgrade, there was a change with mines on Linux for Yuri as well. I didn't include that. Um, let's see. So dash would uh, end instantly when standing on the floor, dashing forward or slightly down on Linux. That is gone. Uh, big ones. The Thornfish is... Um, let me see here. Which one was the Thornfish? It's one of his... Sh there we go. Uh, thornfish 
is the, um, sometimes it's been referred to as the puffer fish. It's the last upgrade. It's the one that gives you two small water bullets on your shot. Uh, it now works with Viridian Eel cartridges, which gives you piercing. And it works with Swirling Octopus cartridges, which gives you range. So, Thornfish, um, let's see, pretty much synergizes now with everything, but, uh, well, I suppose it should synergize with Mutant Worms as well. Um, a lot more synergy with the, uh, the Thornfish there. So, if you were using those other upgrades, more reasons to get the Thornfish. Um, I, it's going to be interesting to see how Thornfish works with the Swirling Octopus cartridges. In fact, we might test that um, because... If it's anything like the way I think it might be, that's going to be a giant triple shot. So, we'll, we'll check that out here in a moment. Also, Swirling Octopus cartridges have had a big increase on the range. It's still not huge, but it's much bigger than it was before. It was almost completely worthless before. Um, so, decent buffs to Froggy, nothing huge. Uh, now we're getting into some specific characters. These are some more short ones. Uh, first of all, Leon. Leon had a health regen bug somewhere. Not sure if that was increased or decreased, but something has been changed. They're not really very specific about what it is. If you know what it is, please feel free to tell us. Um, also, it's possible to activate skills at any time while auto-attacking melee. Uh, this change is actually affecting a couple knots. I believe it is affecting Swiggins as well, but I didn't see it in the notes. Um, I know it's planned, so you might want to test that. Uh, see if it's working for you. Uh, that's a lot of characters had this change uh, So more easier skills to do while you're auto attacking um, Also hungry score sword hungry sword had its life steal increased from 20% to 25% and Kino Noir hasn't had any changes, but it now no longer says it's a 300 health buff um, Placebo effects where they may occur um, I'm not surprised by this because I always thought it wasn't healing a whole lot, but it was certainly healing better than nothing. Um, just to, let's see, put that in perspective here. Uh, if we take a look at um, Medican, uh, that is basically half the Medican. So, still no longer better than Medican, but it's one level of Medican. Sorry, that's what I should say. It's one level of Medican. Uh, is what Pinot Noir is basically uh, turned into now. So, you know, if you don't mind your regen only being on healing and you can get by with only one one level of Medican, Pinot Noir, same as it was before. Um, so it's nice to have that fix. Let's see. Let's go ahead. We're gonna take a look next at Isla. Um, big ones here for Isla, mainly in the Evil Eye department. So, uh, for Idla, first of all, Jail Food was the dot damage upgrade she had for Evil Eye. The damage over time duration has increased from 3 seconds to 4 seconds, uh, but the first tick, tick of damage over time is not applied on impact. So, longer duration overall, that is a uh, damage over time plus 15, and uh, takes longer for that to apply, because uh, there has not been a change in the damage, so basically longer for that damage to apply. The Explosive Neckland price, which was a damage increase on the Chain Whack, that has gone up from, let's see, oh, I'm sorry, reduced, no, from 260 to 220. Not a huge increase. I wouldn't want to take it at 260 or 220. That's really got to come down before anybody wants to use it. Also, the Blowtorch, which is another Chain Whack upgrade, uh, increases the damage of Chain Whack when Wounded Nods less than 40% HP are near. Uh, that's a damage plus three. That's had a price reduced from 190 to 175 Solar. Still not things I usually want to take with Isla, but um, they are there. And they have come down in price, which is nice, but uh, you won't see me buying them very much still. All right, and next up, we are going to take a look at Ted. Get a good look here. Ted has had the most changes. Uh, namely, born in Mr. Uh, MJ Good. I keep wanting to say Mr. Good. Let's see. First of all, let's talk a little bit about shotguns here. So, uh, the reload time of the shotgun has gone up a little bit from 1.7 to 2 seconds. Also, Ted now only has four shells on the shotgun instead of four. 
However, the shotguns do reload during the machine gun stance. Uh, let's see, there were some bugs with switching, namely that graphical bug. If you remember that one, we tried that out on the channel once before. That's gone. Uh, also, the machine gun base damage has gone up from 3 to 4. And the shotgun shells have gone down from 5 to 4. So, essentially, they have equalized the damage between the two, which... Yeah, I found when I was using Ted last time, I was not uh, always sticking out with the uh, uh, the shotgun anymore because you get similar damage with the machine gun. You just can't get it in a nice uh, group like you could with the shotgun. So definitely more machine gun usage all around. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's a little unfortunate because Ted doesn't have the, the quick punch as much like he used to. Also, the stim pack animation length was reduced. This was an effort to make stim pack more advantage, uh, you know, more attractive. I don't think it worked. Um, I don't know about you, but it's shotgun, and it does self damage. Let's see here. Let's see how much damage does it do to yourself? Attack speed, range, reload time. Ah, here we go. Yep. It does 19 self damage. That's that's a significant chunk of damage. And you do it straight to yourself, and then you get to use Stim, uh, stim Pack. And you've got to have your shotgun out, which means you're probably wanting to engage in close range. I don't know why you'd want to give yourself uh, another 19. That is equivalent to a fully upgraded Humboldt Anchor, which is one of the bigger numbers. 20 is where the damage numbers really start to get large, uh, you know, when they're appearing over people's heads. I, I just, I don't like Stim Pack, um, as long as it's guaranteed damage to myself for a very short duration. The, uh, let's see here, the duration is three seconds. You get a Humboldt to the face for three seconds. Oh boy. Yeah, so, but... Now it lasts longer. Woo! And last up, this is the one everybody's been waiting for. One of the biggest changes. Voltar! Woo! Got a lot of Voltar changes. So we're gonna go ahead and right get into it. Uh, the biggest change is Voltar is no longer charging. Uh, from now on, well, he is charging, but uh, the mechanic has been reversed. Uh, now his main attack always automatically recharges and you tap the button to unleash it. No more holding the button. So it's a lot easier, uh, I found, to actually go ahead and um, just heal knots because you've always got it ready. There's no thinking about charging it. There's no making sure you keep it down. It's a lot more easier. It's not a lot. It's a lot easier to use. Much easier to use. Your finger will thank you. I'm glad they made that change. Other big changes. Uh, Psychokinetic Repulsion and Twisted Nightmares will now work better together. If you remember before, what was happening is that the push was uh, happening before the wave got there, so the damage wasn't going through. Now they should be better. Um, however, Psycho Connect Propulsion now only works on max charge. Um, it doesn't seem like it's max charge when we tested it last, but uh, it, it definitely takes more charge. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind, um, it is still very useful. Uh, Dreams of Greed has had its solar on heals reduced from 10% to 5%. Uh, also, the base heal has been reduced uh, to uh, 1 minimum and 7 maximum with a plus 2 bonus to friendly knots. Uh, this basically means if you want to be using your auto attack to heal with Voltar, uh, you need to get the upgrades. Uh, there is no longer relying on the base ability to keep your auto attack viable throughout the entire game, uh, which I think is a good change because Every knot that you use auto attack with, you had to upgrade anyway. So Voltar is now no exception, even though he's healing. Uh, let's see here. Also, Twisted Nightmares droid damage increased by two. Twisted Nightmares minimum damage reduced by one. Twisted Nightmares max damage reduced by seven. So big changes to Twisted Nightmares, but it still does better against droids. So I like that. I'd rather you know have Voltar be trying to use it to farm. Um, you're, let's see here, you're looking at this, you're, you're just going to be better, better off farming droids with it than trying to kill enemy players, uh, not that it's not useless, in fact, I still think many people are going to keep taking Twisted Nightmares, 
Uh, also, Weapon Clip-On has lost one stage. So, Weapon Clip-On, as many of you know, is the increased damage for the droid's auto attack. Um, so, looking at Weapon Clip-On here, um, that is two damage per stage. So, it has gone from three stages at plus six to two stages for plus four. So, much more reliance on suicide drones uh, in this new update. See here. Also, the drones are now smarter and won't shoot when they couldn't hit anything, and they also explode when they reach the maximum range on their uh, on their attack before the previous animation was a bit longer. So uh, definitely, I think uh, explosive hull is going to be a more important upgrade than weapon clip on. Uh, of course, weaponized hull only has two upgrades as well, so um, maybe they've been more or less equalized here. And that is it for the upgrades for, or I should say upgrades, but that is for the 2.2 upgrade. Uh, so real quick, we're going to take a look at Froggy real fast, and that'll be the end of our patch 2.2 review. As I am curious to see how the, uh, how the Thornfish works here. So let me go ahead and get it up in game here. I'm going to do a custom game to test this. And if you are watching, you are welcome to join in, but this is just a practice match here and let's get awesome knots up here on the screen and go ahead and get myself into AI station and ready up and let's see how froggy is working Can't with his new this. changes so again thornfish is um, gonna be working with Viridian and I mean, working with Viridian and range. Um, we're not going to take Viridian because we know we're, we're pretty pretty set on how it works. I mean, it, it lets you pierce. Um, oh. Yeah, no. I'd rather have the attack speed. Uh, the reason I'm not taking the damage is because the extra bullets from Viridian don't synergize. So let's see how this froggy build uh, functions in-game. Go ahead and get the game to start here, and let's see how it works. Ooh. Man, it took me a lot longer to go through these uh, upgrades than I thought. It's like 20 minutes oh, in So here we go, there's the default range. Daddy's got a brand new bag. And by all the upgrades. All right, so here we have Froggy with his fully upgraded. No, oh, yeah, I, I see the range. Um, not huge range. It's about what it always was before with the this rolling octopus card. Let's see how this works with uh, some droid farming. It's definitely a triple shot now, isn't it? Hey, droids, come here. Oh, also, yeah, the the new names. With bots has come The thornfish works with more. Oh, super hard. oh boy! <laughs> it's like a horrible supernova. Let's see, how's this do against droids? Four. Where'd that four come from? Huh? Oh, that's right. It's the shields from getting near the turret. Now one thing I'll notice, or one thing I do notice, I should say, is that, uh, you know, it, when you get thornfish in range, those projectiles, of course, are spreading out, so you're just getting less damage overall.
say this much. It's good to hit turrets with. Oh boy. Alright, so that's Thorn Fish and Froggy. We're not gonna use that, I think, uh, anytime in the near future. And again, so that is the changes on the recent patch here. So again, let's see, that was the last thing with Boltar. So we're going to go ahead and get that posted up to YouTube after this, and uh, you can review that later. Uh, so I hope that was informative, told you the changes you need to know about the Awesome Knots here in the 2.2 patch. And now let's get to some games!